Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com. I don't have any paper mache today, though. I decided to... Well, okay, I was, I was working on my mousse, and I was getting so frustrated with it, I decided that I had to do something just totally fun. This is what I do when I really need to relax, de-stress. I need a little bit of art therapy. <laughs> so what I did today, this morning, I took some time off making something that I know I will not keep. But you can actually put paper mache directly over it if you use some plastic wrap first in between so that the paper mache doesn't stay wet like the clay is. And I have a whole video on that. This this is what I ended up with today. It's just totally roughed in. Like I said, I'm just, just doing it for fun. I'm going to try not to drop it. <laughs> this little stand that I'm putting them on, um, I actually have a video for that too. <laughs> I made it a long time ago. The, um, the clay is being put on over my face sculpting form. I just taped it onto this piece of wood that I happen to have. And then because I'm using WED clay, which is a wet clay, it's like pottery clay with a little something else thrown in to make it really smooth. So I covered all of it, including the masking tape and the wood and the, the sculpting form with some, um, what's it called? Plex seal, uh, two coats. So it took, actually took a couple of days to get me to the point where I could just go ahead and play. <laughs> but today I did, I just kept slapping clay on any old place to try to get it to sort of be a similar face to ones that I found here in my book. Well, not my book. Uh, <laughs> Um, Paul Robert Walker did this. The illustrations actually were by James Bern Bernardin, Bernardine, pronouncing that wrong. You know, right now with so much going on in the world where you're almost afraid to turn on the news, you might want to go ahead and, and find yourself some clay. You don't have to use this special modeling clay. Go to the pottery store. Clay is, wet clay is really cheap. If you just play around with it like, like I'm doing, uh, with no intention of keeping it, there's no reason whatsoever to stress out about it being right, whatever that means. It feels good to get your hands in the clay. It's really intuitive. It's something that human beings just do instinctively, whether something turns out to look like something or not. You know, that kind of depends on how much practice you've had, but it still feels good, even if you're just making a silly little face and, and poking some holes in it for the eyeballs. <laughs> and if, if you want something for um, kind of a, a stress releaser, it, this, this is a really good way to do it. I know that I would be really interested in finding out how you use art or creativity or making stuff of, and or even going to the gallery, whatever it is. If, if you have some way of using art, to just kind of let go of the world for a little while, please let us know in the comments down below.
So now he's as done as I'm going to get today and it's really rough. It was really fun putting together and it was really fast, but obviously if I wanted to keep it, I'd have to fix a few things first. Um, one of the most obvious is one of his eyes is in the wrong place. <laughs> Can you tell? He needs a helmet. I think I would really like him when he has his helmet with the with a bird on it. Um, he needs his ears to be defined. He needs a whole lot of things moved around and, and corrected. This evening I might even go back into my book here um, by Philippe Ferro and see exactly what it is that I did wrong. I will go ahead and do some more work on him and I'll show you what it is that I do to actually clean it up and make it a little more presentable. I'm just going to cover him up with some wet cloths. I found these really cheap washcloths. I think they get 25 of them for, I don't know how much it was, wasn't much. I use them all the time. I love these things. Everything that you might think of using a paper towel for, you can use these instead and then throw them in the wash. It's, it's just really cool. And putting some plastic over it. And this is just going to keep it um, from drying out so I'll be able to go ahead and play with it again tomorrow. And so go ahead and make something and come back and visit me. UltimatePaperMache.com. I'll see you later.